Today I'm going to show you another one of my little boy's favorite GFCF recipes, veggie mashed potatoes. This one happens to be my favorite recipe because it's the easiest and it's the fastest, especially if you have your vegetables already chopped up. If you make more than you need every time, I think I may have mentioned that before, but preparation is key in the GFCF diet. Okay, let me tell you what you're going to need for the veggie mashed potatoes. Uh, you could use potatoes and wash them and peel them and uh, boil them and all that. Today we're going to do it Kimmy Crocker style. Betty Crocker, ooh, uh, that's a, a relative of mine. Betty Crocker potato buds. These are GFCF. I have called the company. Um, you know, still call the company. That's you know your responsibility to check because I don't want to. You know, if they slipped an ingredient in there, I don't want you to be mad at me. But as of today, these are okay. And you can call Betty Crocker and they'll send you a list of their products that are GFCF. And they've got quite a few products. So we're going to do the instant mashed potatoes today. If you would like, uh, message me and I'll send you the recipe for using the real potatoes. It's almost, almost exactly the same. I mean, of course, it takes a lot longer. This, if you have your vegetables chopped, you can have these potatoes ready in five minutes. Um, and there's so many variations to this recipe. You could even omit the potatoes and do like a mashed uh, cauliflower and broccoli. You can take the mashed potatoes and make patties out of them and fry them in oil. And those are really good, especially for little snacks that your children can walk around with. Okay, here's everything that you're going to need. Okay, like I said, for the way we're going to do it today, we're using Betty Crocker potato buds, which I've checked and they are GFCF. Uh, another thing, I don't know if I've mentioned the importance of a chopper before, but to me, this is a necessity, especially if you have a picky child, because you can top up just about you know anything and sneak it in recipes. So you need a chopper, and this is a little one from Walmart, like you know, ten or twelve bucks. Okay, now you're going to need your vegetables that you have chopped up in the chopper. We're going to use cauliflower, broccoli, and onion. I don't know if I'm going to use onion today, but uh, just because I've already got these chopped up and I'm pressed for time, but a lot of times I'll chop up the onion also. But you can do carrots, any vegetable you can think of, you can sneak in here. Uh, this is a late, the latest thing that I've found. It's creamy butternut squash soup. And I have been adding this to tons of recipes, and it is delicious. It smells so good. And uh, let me tell you, my little boy eats these things up. So I'm going to use some of this today. You're going to need your Earth Balance butter or whichever butter substitute you use. You're going to need your milk substitute. We're going to use our West Soy rice milk today and your seasonings. We're going to use sea salt, pepper, and garlic powder today. Okay, you're going to prepare your mashed potatoes the way the back of the box tells you to. According to how many servings you want, it tells you the correct measurements to use. Today we're going to do three to four servings. So just go ahead and uh, follow the directions. The microwave that, we're also going to do that Kimmy Crocker style as well. Um, so follow those directions. Add the potatoes, the rice milk, the butter substitute, water. Now add your chopped vegetables, chopped uncooked vegetables. Um, since they're chopped up like this, they get done enough. If they weren't chopped, they wouldn't get tender enough. And uh, we wouldn't be able to sneak them in like this. So, and by the way, I hardly ever use measuring, measuring cups. I just eyeball it. I will post the recipe at the end of this video. Um, 
with guesstimations, but you know, mainly you can eyeball it. You know, if you think that looks like too much broccoli, he's going to see it. You know, don't put as much broccoli. Put more cauliflower. And if your kid really picks up on stuff like this, you know, you may not even want to put broccoli in there because uh, the cauliflower you can't see at all. And like I mentioned earlier, there is a mashed cauliflower recipe too. And if you're interested, I could I could send you that. So just let me know. But this is the way we do it around here, and they're a huge hit. Now we're going to add some spices and. I eyeball that too. And the creamy butternut squash soup I was telling you about. You can use this in all sorts of recipes. But just add a little bit of that in there and that gives it a great flavor. Mix all of the ingredients up really well. And the directions say to use saran wrap over the top and just um, leave it open a little bit. I try to go by the directions whenever possible because I'm famous for screwing things up. So I'll do it like Cousin Betty recommends. And then we're going to put it in the microwave for the recommended time. Two to three minutes. in two minutes and it's ready if you if you listen to my advice you'll have some meat in the uh, freezer you can just pull out and put a piece of meat in the microwave and the GFCF veggie mashed potatoes hope your kids enjoy thanks for watching bye bye